Yoo-hoo! Hey, everybody! I'm back! So you have a death wish, hmm? Life is to be cherished, not thrown away like spoiled meat. Uncovering the root of these tremors could take us so much closer to understanding the virus. Does that not Hey, Constant! Sure a sudden, violent, Jesus. and large-scale event marked by overwhelming upheaval and destruction. Also, an event that brings great changes. Also, deluge or flood. Also, abrupt political or social upheaval. Also, catastrophe. From the Greek word for deluge, from the roots meaning down and to wash. Andrea, I'm not dead and you're not dead. Welcome. Good to see you alive. Emma keeping you busy? No. I burnt my mob. It was that or shove it up a certain gulo. Power to the few surviving people, comrade. I must confess, I raised my hand to Emma and Sam. Not something they'll forget in a hurry. Did you catch it on camera? <laughs> I'll pay. Ah, uh, Emma was such a lovely girl once. Fame has not been kind to her. But perhaps something good can come from all this horror. A good dose of pant burst in horror usually does the trick. Yes, maybe. I just think perhaps with Sam she can start again. Everyone deserves a second chance, even Sam. Miracles happen. She gave me this house, you know. Congratulations. But don't you want to leave with us? We will be safe now. For a moment, I saw the old Emma. So, where are they? We need to move. Ah, you only just miss them. After my chancla... <laughs> well, they seem keen to leave. They're waiting for you at the sewers. Emma Jones, in the sewers. <laughs> oh, right. Well, I better go then. It's fucking dangerous out there. Well, may God watch over you all. And whatever happens, you will always be welcome at the Salazar residence. God bless you, Andrea. You and your family. There's a sight for sore eyes. Pull up a seat. Hello, Mr. Sinclair. Mum says hi. It's much more relaxing here, eh? Company's a marked improvement here. That's for damn sure. Just a pity that the tasteful Miss John left the stocking of the liquor cabinet to her tasteless hound of a husband. Ha ha ha! Me money just ain't got the style of the classics like you and me. Why settle for less, I say? These good people welcome me into their home. They deserve the best. <laughs> and I happen to know that slacker up the hill was holding on to some vintage art killing whiskey as an investment. And when those internet kids moved in, I gave them a bottle of Maison Saint-Vivant that's older than they are. <laughs> If only some kind soul would help an old man out, I could raise everyone's spirits. 
Or we could keep it to ourselves, eh? <laughs> Get me those drinks, and I swear to you, I'll make it worth your time. I've got something special that'll make those mealy-mouthed undead bastards slither back into their graves. So, I get the quality booze, bring it back, we drink said booze, whilst you show off your impressive weapon. No giggling in the back row. I knew I could rely on you, kid. Godspeed. Drinks. Good company. And some excitement. Here we go. Back to patterns. If this were my gaff, would I keep odd killing single mort in the cellar? Sports room, bedside table, mouth wash bottle? <laughs> Not a result. Next. Uh oh. Not an auspicious clue. Couldn't have just hidden it in the shed, like everyone else. <laughs> Nada. Maybe if I fashion a totes awesome whiskey detector from scrap and bandages. Locked from the inside. Uh oh.
Of course she'll have the key. Success! Boom! Odd killing! Lovely! Wine cellar. Start at the bottom and work up.
Et voilà. Uber plonk. Get in. You there, kid? If you're still down at that modern mansion, look out for a cigar box. The finest Cubans. Gave them as a housewarming gift. And I got a hankering. Mr. Sinclair, even during a zompocalypse, I'm reticent about burglary. <laughs> then I'll sweeten the deal. Check their master bedroom, and you'll find a little something extra. done. Mr. Sinclair, your order is being processed. Come <laughs> on. 
Usually, I only run errands for my mum. You're too good to me, kid. And don't let anyone say that Curtis Sinclair is not a man of his word. You take my rifle, Peggy. And for the cigars, I'll throw in some ammunition to get you started. But, Mr. Sinclair, your hands are neither cold nor dead. Old Peggy's done right by me over the years, but my joints can't handle her kickback no more. Treat her right, and she'll look after you, too. My mom is flipping angelic cartwheels right now. But what about you? Ah, uh, no need to worry about me, kid. They can try and bite me. My hide's tougher than a two-dollar steak. Besides, I can still handle a pistol just fine. I'll be all right with Peggy's little sister, Betty, on my hip. <laughs> I thought I'd seen it all. We can live too. What would Ashley think if she knew you were down in the sewers? Risking your life for a bunch of numbers, huh? She knew. 